Greetings, Jeff Johnston here for RVing Today TV. We're in beautiful Redmond, Oregon, Jewel over the Oregon High Desert, at the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. The Overland Expo is an event that celebrates all things relating to overlanding and overland travel and adventure. Uh, equipment, people, education, accessories, all the things that relate to overlanding. And there's a lot of components here and material that also relates to RVing. We're going to show you some of that. It's pretty exciting. Yes. So overlanding is self-sufficient vehicle travel. So overlanders themselves are doing all sorts of amazing adventures in the United States and internationally as well. People have their vehicles that they live out of for extended periods of time, cross borders, head deep into the backcountry and have all sorts of amazing adventures. That's the spirit of overlanding. The expo drew somewhere in excess of 15,000 participants, including vendors, attendees, and staff. Many attendees camp on site, hanging out with old friends and making new ones is part of the fun at the expo. The expo is a good chance to speak directly with the manufacturer representatives of some of your favorite products. Orange is really, really yummy. So you Educational seminars such as this series hosted by Gary and Monica Westcott of the Turtle Expedition are always popular and useful activities at the expo. Most importantly, being healthy on the road is crucial to be happy on the road. If you're sick, you're not happy. This takes out all the cysts, all the bacteria, all the amoebas and the giardia, and it takes all the chlorine out. So the separate faucet by the sink has water that tastes like spring water. The larger overlander rigs tend to be loaded with electronic devices and the wiring to support them. Extended self-contained travel time is the standard for these big fellas. Because overlanders are usually self-contained in smaller vehicles, their equipment must, of necessity, be compact, durable, and highly functional if it's going to win a spot in their limited available storage space. These factors make certain overlanding gear potentially attractive to RV owners as well. Let's take a look at a few items that may also apply to RV use. We're here at the Tailgater Tire Table booth. Tailgater, of course, is one of our favorite accessories we've come across in a long time. And Ward is going to show us something new here at the show. So um, recently I've created a larger table. Um, it's four inches longer and four inches wider than the original. Doesn't seem like a lot, yeah. but when you put a barbecue or something on it, it it's, it's a lot more room and space. Yeah. That It'll also that. fit a larger tire more comfortably. And so, will this new one also, the larger one, also be available in the aluminum version? Yes, yes we have okay, it done in cool. aluminum also. Well, we're wandering through the show and looking for some really cool items, and we, the, your, your carrier rack here really caught our eye. So what do we have here? Yeah, thanks. This is the Pack Mule Hitch Rack. It's 100% aluminum, uh, including the tongue, so it's lightweight. This unit only weighs 40 pounds. Um, wow. It's never going to rust. There's no paint to chip off. It's not going to corrode. Um, but it's also large in size. In fact, this is our smaller unit. This one's uh, 10 and a half square feet. We have two units that are 12 square feet. Wow. So about half the size of a short bed pickup truck. <laughs> oh, and um, Or fully the size of my Nissan pickup truck. <laughs> that's right, absolutely. <laughs> and so the idea was how do we um, take up the real estate of modern day vehicles and really allow you to utilize uh, additional cargo space? Because when you need cargo space, you need more than less typically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but in a unit that's lightweight, it's easy to load on for the weekend, take off without hindrance or, or uh, having to call your neighbor to come help you. Yeah. Um, it's all welded. We build them in Texas out of 70% recycled aluminum content. Um, and then they lock into your hitch so they're not wobbling when you're going down the highway. Very cool, yeah. The design is easy to load, easy to go. Uh, yeah. Can buckle straps. To... Sometimes it's the simple things that help us out. So this is our uh, body wipe. It is 12 by 12. It is a uh, biodegradable material, natural ingredients. And this is, uh, this is your shower in a pouch. So you can completely clean yourself off at the end of the day. Again, if you're boondocking, you've been hiking, you're dirty and gritty, it's great if it's uh, nice and hot out. It's kind of cool and refreshing and uh, it gets you clean on the go. Cooking accessories are high on our must see list. All right, what we're looking at here is a Scottle grill kit. 
It's a essentially a Hero disc we've attached a propane burner to. It has adjustable legs, has a 10,000 10, BTU burner, and, uh, and a, a various accessories. And you can cook anything you can think of. And there's virtually no cleanup. You don't have to clean up pots and pans. You treat it like cast iron. When you're done, you wipe it out, oil it, put it away. Regular viewers of our show may well remember the review we did on the Omnia stove top oven. It's a really cool device for cooking on top of something like a Coleman stove. And we're here at the booth to learn a little bit about some of the new products that are available for the Omnias. Yeah, so, so uh, what, what's this one has a gauge on it. What's yeah, so Omnia's got a few new things. So this is a thermometer. This is gonna help you keep track of really how long you're baking. Uh, when that oven comes off, it is really hot. So we've got a nice trivet that can slide the oven on to. Now we can move okay. it around, give everyone a sample of what we've been cooking. Yeah, keep the uh, fingertips. Yeah, and... don't want to scorch your fingertips. Uh, Non-stick pans, this is a pan replacement. We also have a larger pan now. So if you need to cook mm -hmm. larger cake, things like that, we can increase the size. And then for me, since we do a lot of the vehicle-based stuff right of our trucks, this uh, EVA case, it's a hard uh, or semi-hard case that's gonna protect your oven. I store all my silicone and all my accessories in the case like this and just throw it in my truck and we're set to go. Well, wow, very nice. We even saw a few full-size RVs on display at the event. We'll look closer at those after these commercial messages, so stay tuned. Aquacam Tossins. So fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Aquacam, the most powerful odor control available and the number one seller for over 50 years. Want more RVing today? Then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. Let's continue our look at the 2022 Overland Expo in Redmond, Oregon, and the products on display that may be of interest to RV owners. I'm here today going to give a brief preview of the uh, Camino 88 camper, truck camper. It is a Phylon sided laminated to an Asdel substrate. It's 2x2 two two and 2x4 two construction with a 2 inch closed cell spray foam insulation. All of our roof system is stainless steel. We have a stainless steel trim, stainless steel roof system, thermal pane windows, this particular camper has 60 gallons of water. And also what you see here is a new feature that we call the fish and ski box, which you can put a set of 195 centimeter downhill skis, poles. The other side, you can put fishing poles in and it just, it's on a drawer system. You secure it by locking each end. You're gonna see a stainless steel shower with a dry bath system. The toilet slides in and out of the shower stall. Privacy door, sink, mirror, vanity. To the fore of the camper, we have a residential queen size bed. Above, you have a optional skylight. You have a um, entertainment package, communication package, pull out trash cans. There's just a plethora of options and accessories that we manufacture. We're always happy to learn about new ways to have fun on the water on a hot day. Here today we're introducing the uh, Aquaglide Deschutes 110 inflatable kayak. This is a great solution for the RVer. When premium uh, quality of paddling products are uh, important to you, but also space and portability and durability is really the factor. So we use a PVC material on this. It's proven with river rafting, you know, and other durable materials uh, in the paddle sports market for many years. Uh, this is a single version, so the Deschutes 110 is 11 feet long, designed for the single paddler, 
It comes with a skag on the back and then an extruded um, component on the bow here for great tracking. Uh, it doesn't have an inflatable floor in it, which helps the paddler sit lower to the ground for more stability and just a nicer feel on the water. And so one of the nice aspects of the Deschutes 110 also is the, the size that it packs down into for storage and transport, right? So it fits into this bag here um, with extra room to spare for the pump. And also it's good to have a four piece paddle that we make to also fit in here. You have room for a PFD, lunch and extra safety equipment as well. Our four-legged friends are not forgotten at the expo. Most RVers, well, many RVers have pets they take with them, dogs, cats, whatever. And we came by the stunt puppy booth here and happened to catch sight of something that looks really interesting. So what is this that you've got there? Yeah, so this is the Scout Leash. It's all about being prepared for anything, which is a good thing when you're RVing. Basically, it gives your dog five feet of room to explore. It has a small amount of stretch, which we call the squirrel function. Yeah, and that's so if the, you're, uh, this little yeah, stringy. Yeah, so if your dog or catches a scent, yeah. then it's got a little bit of space to explore. But if you're in a high pressure environment, or maybe you're somewhere that's a bit more densely populated, you you can shorten the leash to a static two foot leash so your dog is right by your side. Oh, Has an onboard stuff set because I know that oh. RVers are very responsible. So dogs can carry their own treats in their own <laughs> plastic bags. Exactly. Poop bags, treats, there's a key clip for your car key. You can even keep a credit card in there as well. So you've got all of that on you. Cool. The other nice thing about Scout is when your dog is off playing, you can wear the leash yourself. And we use a swiveling locking carabiner. So very light, very strong. So you've got your hands free. You're not leaving your leash on. The With more campgrounds prohibiting open fires, Self-contained alternatives are growing in popularity. Right, this is the Ignic fire can. It's a portable propane fire pit. It's designed around uh, an ammo can design, which is super durable and super portable to make campfire uh, easy and safe and compact. So you can po pop this in your car um, easily. You pull out the legs to raise it up off of the ground. So this is great for uh, burn ban situations where you can't have a traditional campfire, there's no sm sparks, there's no smoke. Uh, it plugs in with the included uh, quick release connector. Works with a propane tank here, has an adjustable control for different levels of heat and puts out 38,000 BTUs uh, of heat. Great for gathering around a campfire. Uh, places where you can't have a traditional wood fire and easy to pack up. Uh, just put the, turn it off, put the hose inside, put the lid on, clamp it down, fold the legs in, and you're ready to go. Overlanders are good people who use their hobby to help others enjoy the outdoors. Team Overland is a nonprofit organization. We are based out of Southern Oregon. Down in Medford is uh, where we're all from. Um, we have, uh, been established since 2015. I came on in 2016 as a, the VP and um, we what we do is we take veterans, their families and friends and we just go up in the woods. We use the campfire to facilitate our uh, our, our camping trips. Um, we uh, all of our vehicles are off-road vehicles and it doesn't matter if you have a vehicle off-road vehicle or not we'll take you out there with us. Um, we've done over well over 160 trips in the past um, well, seven years. It's pretty amazing we've been around that long. We try to bring veterans back into the world by using camping and off-roading. Uh, once we come back from war, from the military, uh, it, it's hard to establish ourselves into the civilian world. So this is our way to give back and to help others get back into the civilian world. And without the help of our fellow civilians, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. You can hardly have a big event without a happy hour each day, and the expo attendees enjoyed the hospitality and the chance to socialize in a fun environment courtesy of Ten Barrel Brewing Company. For a look at some interesting and functional accessories you may not find at your local RV supply shop, check out an Overland Expo near you. For more information about the Overland Expo events, log on to our website at rvingtoday.tv.